Sean Sewell with Ingamit.com. In this bag, I have the brand new iCamper Disco Cook System. In this review, I'm gonna go over how to assemble it, the three different ways you can use it, show you some pictures and videos of us using it on the last several weekends camping trips, and give you my overall impressions and thoughts on it. So let's get into it. First, the bag is not out yet. I know you're probably admiring it, but it is uh, from a different company and it will be out. And we'll get into that in a different review. So the kit we have from iCamper comes with several pieces. This is gonna be the tripod slash, um, well, it's a tripod, I'll show you. It's multiple levels and it's designed to be used with the cooking system if you want. The stove can also just be used on a tabletop or on the ground. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna keep it simple. There's a little button right here. I'm gonna pull out the button. And that's as far as that one goes. Push the button. And that's as far as that one goes. And then push the button one more time. And that'll give us a height that's really pleasant for most people's cooking experience. Now there's even higher settings you can use. And I'll show you how to do that as well. This knob right here, go ahead and lengthen. And there's a few reasons you might want to use the longer version. So, now we have an even higher surface. So if you're an even taller person, or if you like cooking at this level, or if you're going to suspend the eye camper surface, the cast iron wok skillet, you can suspend it off of this pulley system down above a fire. Case number three, and I've never seen anybody use this yet, but each of these holes will fit uh, a camera mount or a scope. So if you're out glassing, you hunters out there, or if you're like me and you have your camera gear with you at all times, you could put a little uh, mount right there and then all of a sudden you have a very, very sturdy camera mount. Pretty sweet. So I'm gonna lower it down to the middle level, which is where I would usually use it for cooking. And I think most people would as well. And it's also multiple adjustable. So you can pick how high or how long you want it to be to suit your best needs. And those are nice, burly, easy to use uh, adjustments right there that you can use with mittens or gloves on. They are burly. All right, so we're back to the height that I would be using it at, more than likely you as well. So here I have two options for tables. So I'll show you both. Option one is this, this nice hardwood that has engraved in there, eye camper. And how it mounts is it just goes on the side right there and it's in place. Option two, they come in these nice carrying bags. Everything that they sent over is just really well made. There's one exception to something I can't show you because I actually lost it. When it came in, there's so many things that they sent over. And my wife and I were opening things up and getting ready for a big camping trip. And I think I threw away the attachment that would mount right here to hold the cylinder of gasoline on there or fuel, um, but it still works just fine. So this one, you can easily put a camp towel right there and also you got two couplers. So let's just go with that guy right there. You just kind of wedge them in place like that. You're good to go. All right. This guy right here is going to be the cooking surface. Now again, you can cook on them three different ways. You can suspend them with the chains provided through these holes, and then it would suspend down here, chains come up here in that higher tripod mode, or how I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put it on top of the stove. Now the stove is really handy because it's like a three-in-one stove. Basically, I'll show you, it's sizable, it's easy to use. You can use it just on its own on a tabletop so you don't even need to bring all this stuff. You can just put the stove on your, you know, uh, wood surface, stone surface, what have you, or you can mount it as I'm gonna show you how to do. There's gonna be three of these, and we're just gonna put these in place, like that, like that, and like that. Get him out of the way. And then fold the legs in.
and it will only go one way. So now he's in there like so. Now we get our fuel. And for the fuel, I'm using the isobutane mix right here. That is the cap that it has. It's not a propane canister. There may be adapters out there, I don't know, but this is the fit. It's gonna be something you can get at REI or other outfitters. It's very typical, very common camp stove fuel. And since I misplaced the little doodad to hold it onto a leg, I'm just gonna hold it right there. And now the magic happens. So I'm gonna open the throttle up and then the push button's right here. It goes from here to there. Makes this sound. And there you go. There is your flame. And we're at uh, 10,400 feet in the first time, no problem. Now the real fun happens. How do you cook on it? Well, you take this cast iron pre-seasoned wok skillet and you place it right there. Boom. And then you have a nice even surface that gets to a nice hot temperature. We've seared steaks on here. We've cooked veggies and made fajitas. We've a lot of camp food you're probably thinking of doing, you can do in here easily. And it's nice because it's not a huge dipped wok, so it doesn't keep all the ingredients in like center right here. I find it's put some butter, or if you're vegetarian, whatever oil you want to use, avocado oil. Put it on there, coat the pan even though it is pre-seasoned. And then I put the, you know, veggies uh, on one side, and if I'm doing meat, I do the meat over here. And it's really, really easy. So that is the iCamper Disco Series cooking system, with most of the accessories. I believe that's almost all the accessories they make. So the basic one would come with the cooking surface and the stove. And then you have the tripod, which as you saw, is not just a tripod for a cooking surface, but also very useful if you're gonna suspend this cooking surface onto a fire. And then you have a nice rustic cooking experience or a multi-purpose use that I found is using it for a camera tripod or a uh, telescope or glassing tripod as well. So you get a lot of bang for your buck with that, plus it's very, very sturdy. And then the cooking tables I showed you, there's this one right here. Uh, it'd be very easy to put a towel or paper towels over this. So you have a place to clean your hands. You can have your drink and your friend's drink right there. Uh, they're very sturdy, hardwood, and they clean up very easy, soap and water. Everything comes with nice packaging. Again, look in the packaging. Do not throw anything away. It doesn't need to be thrown away like I did. But nonetheless, with my error, we're still able to safely and entertainingly use the iCamper Disco system. Uh, we also have a video interview with iCamper at the most recent Mountain West Overland Expo. If you want to learn more about their tents and other gear they make, they make some really cool stuff. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. If you want to learn more about iCamper in general, I'll put a link to their website as well below. If you want to see more outdoor gear like this, consider subscribing to our Engearment YouTube channel. And again, I'll put a link to that right there. I'm Sean Sewell, the owner and director of Stoke for Engearment. Hopefully you've seen how this assembles, is used, and what we think about it is helpful. If it is, a thumbs up is appreciated. And until next time, take care.